Hey guys, welcome back to Sam Gates Technical Tinkering. Today we're going to do a dual boot, Windows 10 and Ubuntu. First thing we're going to do is go to this address. We're going to download 20.4. and go ahead and save it. I'm going to save it to desktop. And then we're going to go to Rufus and download the first Rufus that you have there. Again, we're going to go as Save As Desktop and click Save. And then just wait for it to be done downloading. Once you have your files, you should see them there on the wherever you save them. We're going to hit Windows X. Then we're going to go into Disk Management. And we're going to find our C drive. And we're going to shrink volume. wait for it to load. So you want about uh, minimum 25 gigabytes. I'm going to do uh, about 40. 39. And shrink. Give it time to load. Okay. So now we have our, our drive there. So let's go ahead and close that. Next thing you want to do is grab a USB and plug it in. And make sure you format the USB. So right click, format, and then just go start. And OK. And click OK again. Close that. And we will close that window. Now we're going to open up Rufus. And make sure you see your USB device up there. And we're going to be using an ISO image. And select your file. So you want the Ubuntu. So click on that. And just go ahead and hit start. And click OK again. And click OK again. And wait for it to load. OK, so when, when that's done, just close the browser. And we're going to... All right. So once it's complete, just click Close. Close it. And go to Power. And we're going to restart. Uh, we're going to hold Shift and restart. Should take us into recovery. Do 
Give it a minute to load. All right, so once we're in the recovery, we're gonna go troubleshoot, advanced option, UEFI firmware settings, and restart again. And it should start into BIOS settings. So once we have that done, we'll go over to advanced mode. And for SATA mode, if you have RST, uh, pick AHI, uh, go to security, find secure boot, make sure it's disabled, and then go to boot, and for boot option one, find your USB, and save and exit. Click OK. And it should boot up into Ubuntu. Alright, so when you see this, you don't need to touch anything, it will automatically load. There we go. Just give it a while to load up there. So when it starts up, we're going to install, pick your keyboard layout, click continue, and we're going to skip over the Wi-Fi, continue. And we're going to install third party. You don't have to click this if you don't want to. So normal installation, click continue. Let it load. Okay, so we're going to install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager. And we're going to click install now. And we're going to click continue. And pick your location. And then click continue. And then go ahead and fill in the information. And when you're done, click continue. And then let it load. So when you see installation complete, just go restart now. And let it load. Alright, so now you have the option to boot in Windows or Ubuntu. So let's just test this here. Let's make sure it's working. So let's load Ubuntu. Wait for it to load. And there we go. So now let's log out. Up in the top right corner, power off. And restart. Give it a minute or two to restart. Alright, now we're going to try Windows. And there we go. Now let's log in and see if it's uh, running well. Alright. So there you have it. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Bye-bye.